everyone, I have another sugar pill look for you today using some completely different colors than what I used last time. Because I'm using a different palette, looks the same on the outside, but different colors on the inside. This is the Sweetheart palette, um, and it has some amazing colors in it. I have a review and swatches of all the sugar pill things that I bought over on my blog, so I will have a link to that in the sidebar. Go check it out if you haven't. Um, and I guess that is all I have to say, so just keep watching if you want to see how to get this look. As always, I have my Art Deco eyeshadow base on already. I'm going to be using this metallic blue from the Mayron Metallic Palette. I'm going to apply this to my eyelid. Now, I wet the brush with just uh, regular water. And the trick with these colors is to, um to find out exactly how much water you need so that the color isn't too watery but not too hard to work with either. I'm just going to use whatever is left on my brush to just blend it up a little bit. And while I wait for that to dry a little bit, I'm just going to apply some highlight color and I'm using the White Cult Takeo. I'm not applying a lot of this at all because it is a very pigmented white and I don't want like a really harsh white highlight. I'm also going to apply a little bit to my tutor direct area. Next color up is the blue called After Party and I'm just applying this, this to my lid. Now this color is really pigmented in itself but I just used the base to give it a bit more depth, a bit more of that metallic look that the, uh, the metallic Mayron color had. Now I'm going to use the green called Midori. I'm using MAC 224 brush and I'm applying this into my crease and blending it Absinthe. This is also from Sugar Pellet's Loose Shadow. I'm getting a little bit on my 224 brush and I'm applying this to the edge of the green, like where the green meets the white. And this just adds a really amazing gold sheen. Now I'm going to use a little bit of Max Plumage eyeshadow. I'm still using my 224, I'm just applying this right into my crease, but only to the outer part of my crease, just to deepen everything out a bit. Now for my lower lash line, I'm going to use After Party first, just using a MAC 212 brush and I'm applying it all the way to my tear right. I'm going to go over that with the pink called Dolly Pop. This is probably the most amazing pink eyeshadow that I have ever seen. It reminds me a lot of the uh, neon pink from Makeup Forever, but this isn't quite as neon, still really bright though and much easier to work with. And when I apply this on top of the blue, it creates a really nice purple. Now I'm just going to apply some liner and mascara, and I'll be right back. For the lashes I'm going to use are the Ardell Hotties that so looks like this. So the eyes are done. I just used MAC Point Black Liquid Last Liner as my top liner. Now for my cheeks, I am going to use Benefit Posy Tint. Just getting some on my cheek and blending it out with my finger. You can use a brush too, but as long as you have clean fingers, this will work just fine. I'm going to highlight a little bit with the MAC Perfect Topping Mineral Skin Finish. Just applying that on top of my cheekbone. For my lips, I am going to use MAC Pink Nouveau Lipstick. And on top of that, I'm just going to use MAC Totally It Lip Gloss. This was limited edition. So that finishes off the look. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Um, hopefully I will have another tutorial up soon. I have a lot of products that I want to use in tutorials, so... We will see what happens. Yeah. Bye.